Now sand in snow mode, it's not really about setting a scene like our landscape mode and our, uh, our portrait mode is. This is more about telling your camera to get a nice clean picture that's not overexposed. So for my, um, my online photographers, uh, listen up, especially if you've had problems trying to get a good exposure on an all-white background. Let's say you're trying to get an all-white floating on air shot and you keep getting these muddy shots. Try using the sand and snow mode. What the sand and snow mode is, is again, going back to, photog to the engineers when they were setting these cameras up. They set them up to get the best overall exposure that they can of the image. So when you push your shutter down halfway, you tell your camera, wake up, let's start looking at how much light there is, what kind of light it is, and make some uh, exposure judgments. So your camera takes uh, an average. It says, oh, there's um, some dark trees there. There's a red barn, gray over there. There's some blue over there. And there's a, a light area there. There's a dark area there. And to make the best average overall exposure, what the engineers set up was to tell the camera to value everything or to, to make target the exposure to what's called an 18% or neutral gray. And you're thinking, but this is color, so how does that work? But don't worry too much about that. It's just about the, the density value. And that sounds like a big word. Don't worry too much about that. But what happens is when we get in extreme conditions, let's say an all white background or a snowy background, if you're um, out taking pictures of the snow uh, back east right now, you're probably trying to get a nice white snow to show everybody on Facebook. What happens is when you click the shutter down, your camera sees all that white and it says, oh my gosh, I've got to turn it gray. And that's where the, the problem lies. So what the sand and snow mode does, and you may have just one little icon that has a little snowman on it with a beach, or you may have several icons, you know, beach and then one with a palm tree and then a snowman. They all do the same thing, essentially. Just pick the best one for your situation. What it's telling your camera is chill out. We want this to be slightly overexposed because it is a bright white situation. We don't want those grays. So that's what the sand and snow mode does. Now there's another mode called the action mode, the running man mode, or you may have one that's called kids and pets. I've got kids and pets, but my camera shows the running man mode. And this does exactly what um, you would imagine it does. It helps you freeze action. So if you're at the track, um, you've got kids that are, are running, uh, you've got dogs or cats, or you're trying to freeze things in motion. Um, you're at the racetrack and you're trying to capture the, the uh, cars and freeze them as they go by on the racetrack. This is the mode you want to use. It, it is designed for freezing action.